I first thought when John said about to play Rafiq, and I thought to myself, it happens in Africa. It's somewhere along the track of the build of these millions moving from Kenya to Serengeti to Kruger National Park to Sotongwa and then down in the KZN. Therefore, it is an African story. And he was generous enough to allow me to be an African primate called Rafiki. And the wonderful thing about it is that we're almost the same age, we're both over 75. <laughs> <laughs> so we both lived, we both walked through that forest, we both created those footpaths and intertwines where the little rabbits and the animals go through. And we've seen life, we've experienced life. But watching it last night, I kept praying, please God, not another scar in Africa. We've gone through terrible time. Let other people have scar. Not us now, it's enough for us. <laughs> so that for me was the kind of resonance and relevance in everything I do. I always try to find myself within what I do. And I felt last night like a kid for a very long time ago, you know to sit there just be taken by the story and look at these animals and I'm very grateful to you, John. He doesn't look like me. <laughs> but he is like me, which is fantastic. And it's a story that I'm looking forward to our premiere in Johannesburg where it will be full of all African people who are looking for something that is about them. We are sort of... Um, not uh, at the level of entertainment that the Western world is. Everything we see on the play, in the screen, we we'll read, we take sins. We take that it speaks to me. And so uh, wonderful to see how the Johannesburg of South African audience would say, what does it say to me? What does it make me feel? Why am I celebrating it? Is it humanity? Is it us? Is it our dignity? Is it our future? And is it what we want to tell our children? Because we're only 25 years in our democracy. I went to the American Embassy in South Africa and understood you guys were celebrating 243 years of democracy and we ain't got it right yet. 